welcome back to my channel my name is Karita if you are new so I am getting dressed it is Wednesday February 9th and uh Carmen has an appointment today so I'm getting ready I feel like I look super duper washed out if I look washed out I'm sorry like, I don't know what's going on with the camera on my end I look pale as a ghost <laughs> Anyway, I'm getting ready to take Carmen to an appointment and drop Kelsey off at school. And I have no idea how I want to do my hair. Like I, I don't, I don't know. Every time I get braids, I don't like braids. I, I don't like wearing them just straight down. I feel like that looks weird on me, to me. But then I don't, I don't know. Um, if you don't know, Carmen was diagnosed with autism almost five years ago. And we are now kind of getting her reevaluated to see if in fact she is autistic, if she's not. So today is a follow-up appointment for that. So I'm not really looking forward to it because this is the third appointment um, that we've been to. And it's just a lot of appointments for this. We lived in California when she was diagnosed, but for our insurance purposes, they are making her get reevaluated because we're in a different region now. And I mean, it's time for a reevaluation re anyway because you get reevaluated every four years. But um, pretty much, she's going to get evaluated today to see, well, to get more um, tests done to, to determine if she is in fact autistic or if there's more going on with her. Um, so. I have to go get Kaden up, nurse him really quick. Why is my necklace tangled? I guess I'm not wearing a necklace today. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today and I figured I would vlog because it's going to be a interesting day to say the least. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along while I take her to the doctor and do all the things I gotta do today. Mommy, don't want it. You don't want it? Yeah. Say good morning. Good morning. Stop, stop. Oh. And, 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 and mommy, hmm? and Kenny, Kenny, and Fiber. He's a what? A Fiber baby. What is that? It's a Fiber like in a dummy. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. He doesn't care. Oh, he back in the bathroom. Yeah. He's fast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Like Sonic. Kaden, you gotta stop coming in here. You gotta make sure you close the toilet now since he's crawling, okay? Okay. You got your glasses, baby. I think he needed to do the bathroom. Yeah, he likes the bath too. <laughs> but make sure you close your toilet, okay, Kelsey? Okay. Okay, Carl? Okay. Because he might try to touch the toilet and that's dirty. Yeah. And mommy? Yeah. And I, and I, and I, uh -uh. No, Kaden, don't pull on the shower curtain. And then I think it'll fall hurt itself. Yeah, it will fall. Kaden, come on. Let's come out. Come no. on, Kaden. No, Kelsey. You don't need to be in here. He's super fast. He is super, super fast. Oh. <laughs> what happened? He fell. He's coming back in here? No. Kaden, no. <laughs> you cannot come in the bathroom. Oh, they play with the pluggers. Take that from him, Kelsey. No iPad cords. For baby. It's very dangerous. He might get electric. He might get what, Carmen? Electric. Electric? Yeah, they put the electric on the internet. Electrocuted? Yeah. They electrocuted. Electrocuted. That's right. He cannot touch anything. Mommy? Or eat Mommy. something. Yes, Kelsey. So, we're at the doctor now, and we've been here for about Right at 45 minutes, Carmen is in the back um, doing her evaluation. And I'm just in the hallway walking 
Mr. Kaven. <laughs> like, I'm over this. I'm over this. I don't want to wait no more. You don't want to wait on your sister. Yeah, so I'm hoping like in the next 45 minutes, it's supposed to be like maybe a two hour appointment. So I'm hoping not too much longer, she'll come out and we'll go get some lunch and get some stuff done on my to-do list. Are you gonna take a nap? No, no nap. Kaden. We're at Chick-fil-A, Carmen's favorite place. <laughs> you gonna eat the french fry? Should we get Kate in the Valentine outfit? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, just so cute, huh? Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's funny, huh? How yeah. much is it? Uh oh, let me then. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. It's seventeen ninety nine. It is. It's seventeen nine dollars. I got them in them Rose, Rose. Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks. Let's see. That's so cute, huh? <laughs> I think. I look. Oh, you want to show it to Kaden? I get it. Look at this outfit. <laughs> yeah. Home now. Um, Carmen's appointment went really well. We went to Chick Fil A for lunch, um, and then I had to run to Target to get some food for Kaden. I'm about to hop on the treadmill for like an hour. It's an hour before it's time to go get Kelsey from school, so I'm gonna hop on a treadmill. I just threw on some shorts and a sports bra um, underneath this shirt. Probably gonna take this shirt off on the treadmill, but I'm pretty sure this shirt gonna come off on the treadmill because it's it's kind of warm outside today, so therefore it's warmer in the house. Because usually, uh, well, the past week has been like in the 40s, but for today it's like high of like 65 or 68. So yeah, I'm gonna do that while I can. Um, Carmen is in her room and Kaden is about to take a nap, and then. Once I pick up Kelsey, I'm gonna put together Caden's little car he got for Christmas and probably go outside. Like I said, it's really nice out today, it's warm. So yeah, I'm out of breath, I'm right up the stairs. <laughs> Cause like, I feel like that's mom life. Like I'm trying to maximize every minute that I have. Like I have an hour before it's time to get Kelsey. So I'm like, yeah, let me get on the treadmill, get a little workout in and then go get Kelsey. But yeah, I'll check in after I finish that. Wish me the best
so we're back in the house. I was gonna record outside, but my neighbor walked up talking. Um, but anyway, the girls had fun outside. Caden had a good little time on his car. Now he's in the playpen and Kelsey's coloring. And I'm about to make dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna make dinner and then it'll be time for bath time. Like, where did the day go? You say hey? Hey. So we're about to do Carmen's Valentine's for school. You gonna show them the Valentine cards you have? Yeah, I got the minion. You have the minion cards? Yeah. All right, let's write your friends' names. Can you open them? Caden is very sleepy. But it's not bedtime yet. 30 minutes till his bedtime. Ooh, those are cute. Cute. So you gotta write two and then their name and then from you write Carmen. Okay? Okay. Let's count how many friends you have in your class. How about you count them? And then we'll know how many to make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So it's twenty. So we're only gonna do nineteen because we don't need to make one for Carmen. Because who's Carmen? It's my name. Yeah, so we're not gonna make one for you, okay? Mm. Unless you want to make one for yourself. You want to make one for yourself? Yes. You <laughs> okay. No. All right. So let's see. We are going to start with these. So you see it says two. You're gonna write, whose name is that? Juliana. So write to Juliana. You gotta write a little smaller than that, Carmen. Oh. And you don't have an eraser, so be very careful. I'm gonna rip them in half for you. How about that? I'll, I'll help. Maybe it'll make it go faster. You're doing a great job. Hey. Uh oh. What? You didn't put your name on Jakeem's. Oh. Jakeem, is that how you say his name? Jakeem? Yeah, the two E's. Oh, two E's. We are gonna this handwriting this summer, girl. That's what we're gonna do the whole summer. We're gonna just practice your handwriting. Cause this handwriting is interesting. Yeah, so it is much later. Finally, the kids are in bed sleep. It's about like eight, eight thirty ish. So yeah, the kids are asleep, and as a mom, like that is the best feeling in the world. Like when they've ate dinner, took a bath, and they are in the bed, and the house is quiet. My husband is out of town for work, so the house is like super, super quiet. Cause usually at this point, I would hear him playing his game, but. Yeah, this is like the best one in the world. So I'm gonna make this quick so I can go enjoy the silence in the house. Um, I want to show you what I got at Target. Um, I went in there for baby food for Caden because I've only tried oatmeal with him and I wanted to try um, rice. And I saw that it was like, well, I saw on the Target app, there was a dollar off coupon. So I went to get this for Caden. Um, and then I wanted to get this little cute Valentine's Day outfit that I saw the other day, I walked by and I was like, mm, I'm gonna think about it. And I kept thinking about it, so I went back and got it. And I mean, how stinking cute is this? It's a bow tie with suspenders and some jeans. And I think he's gonna look so stinking cute for Valentine's Day. Um, I wanted like a more wearable outfit instead of just like a shirt that said like my first Valentine's Day or whatever. I just feel like those outfits, while they're cute for a picture, like, you can't really do anything with him. So I wanted him something more like this. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I think I want it. Then I, I didn't get it, but I was glad they had it and they had it in his size. Um, and I wanted to get some Simply Watermelon Juice. So this Simply Watermelon Juice is actually really hard to find in my area, my Walmart. And um, Walmart and Publix don't carry it, but my Target carries it. So I got two for me and Kelsey because Kelsey really likes it. And the only other thing on my list to get was plates. So I'm gonna be redoing my kitchen like in the next week or two. And uh, I realized I only had two of these plates for the kids and I wanted to get some more. So I got three more. And then I have the little plates that are like divided. But um, yeah, I got three of these. And Carmen picked these colors and I really wanted her to pick like all blue, but she picked two of this like lavender color and uh, blue. 
And I got these um, bowls and plates from Walmart yesterday. I couldn't resist, like, I have the circular bowls from Walmart, and I like them, like, because they're microwave safe and dishwasher safe, and uh, we do have glassware, but some things I just don't want to, like, break out the glass. I want to just, like, throw a bowl of cereal, eat, you know, something quick. And so I like these little, like, I think they were 50 cent. Whatever they were. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they were 50 cent. And um, I just like these little plates and bowls. They are actually like a coral color. They look really orange for some reason, but they are coral. Let me see. Okay, there we go. Like, they're, they're a really, really pretty color. So, Walmart had coral, turquoise, like a pretty, 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 like a mustard yellow. In the little Target dollar spot, they had these little like floral arrangements for half off. So I picked up these two. I was looking for the little small jars to put them in, but they didn't have them in my Target. But for a dollar, I couldn't pass them up because they're going to be really cute for springtime to decorate either in the kitchen or the bathroom. And when we were, when we were on the aisle with the plates and stuff, Carmen saw this water bottle. And they're required to bring a water bottle to school every day. It's like a stitch image there and I like it because it's um it's not like her other water bottles the other water bottles like you can kind of like peel off the design but this one is on there really good and it says Ohana on this side and Stitch is one of her favorite characters it was a little pricey to me I didn't I didn't see a price when she picked it up that's what kids do they pick up stuff and put it in the basket and you don't see the price so when we got to the register to check out it was like $14 and to me it's a little high but I guess it was 14 because this is 19 ounces, so it's bigger than like the traditional kid size. Where's the one that she has now? She told me she wanted a new one, but I wanted to let her pick it out. And so I guess today she was like, well, you haven't replaced it, so I'm gonna replace it myself. But the size comparison, I guess this that's why this one was 14. Cause I think this one was around like seven, like six ninety nine or seven ninety nine, something like that. So I guess that's why, cause it is almost double in size and it's almost you know it looks big girl ish so gonna wash that for her so she can take it to school and when i got home my valentine's day gift to myself was here so i kind of want to open it give y'all like a little asmr so i got myself a new purse and wallet for valentine's day because i'm a purse girl I don't know about y'all, but like I love a good purse. But when I opened the box, I didn't realize the wallet was this big. So I got a coach wallet and a coach bag um, to myself for Valentine's Day. Let's open her up and see. Oh, it's pretty big. It's it's really big. I don't know. Like I'm, I'm a small wallet person. So this is my current wallet, and I thought it was gonna be bigger than this, but not this big. So side by side, and this is by Coach too. Um, yeah. I don't know. Like I, I like this one because this holds money, um, in here really well, and it does hold a lot of cards too. But I didn't realize it was going to be this big. I have to see. So the bag that I ordered is a bag that I've been eyeing for like two or three months. And I saw one by Kate Spade I like. And of course I saw one by Louie that I like. But I'm not in the mood to spend Louie money. <laughs> but this is called the Coach Jess Baguette. I love this shape. It takes me back to like my childhood. I think we all had those purses that had like the little like dip here with the strap. But what sold me on this purse that was the strap. It comes with this pretty thick strap and I love this strap because like, I don't I don't really like thin straps because I am a crossbody girl and I feel like the thinner the strap the more it digs into you. But anyway, let's open it up. So this is not very big, but I don't, I don't, I don't carry too much. So 
So let's see, does the wallet fit? The wallet fits and it zips. Okay, well, here's how the wallet looks on the inside. I think the wallet will fit good with my phone and my AirPods. What else do I care? Phone, AirPods, sanitizer, a pen and lip gloss. I'm pretty sure everything will fit, yeah. But anyway, that's what I got myself for Valentine's Day, a new wallet and handbag. Um, Valentine's Day is Monday, so maybe I'll wrap it up for myself, make it look all cute. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for spending the day with me. Oh, I didn't I didn't update about Carmen. So her appointment went really well. She did really good. Um, we didn't end up getting any like feedback or results. She said it's gonna be about four to six weeks before we get like the final results because she has to, of course, um, go through all the test results because they did about six different tests with her. And so she'll go over all the results. We'll get a phone call or we'll have like a face-to-face -face appointment to kind of um, discuss whether she is in fact autistic, if she's ADD, if she's ADHD, if she's nothing at all, if she just has like significant speech delay, all that. I'll link my autism playlist down below where I kind of talk about like when she was diagnosed, how I felt, what her diagnosis was then and all that good stuff. Um, cause I don't really want to talk about it cause it gives me in my feelings, but pretty much I don't really know as of today, I don't really know and I feel a little confused now that she's gone through more testing, like if she is in fact autistic, if she's not autistic. I don't know how I'm gonna feel if it comes back and she's not um, because I'll be lying if I said I won't be annoyed or like kind of ticked off that she was misdiagnosed because I mean she's my child and who wants to have a child be misdiagnosed but I'm just happy that in about a month we'll have like some concrete answers from a psychologist who has tested her with the six tests that are required to be done. So yeah, she did great though. She really did do great. And I'm glad we're getting the ball rolling because she's getting older. And if it does come back that, you know, the diagnosis remains the same, it is what it is. She's gonna still keep getting a lot of help, but it'll be great just to have it on paper so that our insurance can stop, you know, going through loopholes, trying not to cover stuff. But but yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.